Welcome back to the channel. This is part three in the Python AWS Lambda series. In this video, we're going to be doing a few things. The first is we're going to create the IAM user necessary to push our Docker image to AWS. The second is we're going to create the Elastic Container Registry ECR to hold the Docker image. Third, we're going to create the Docker image locally. Fourth, we're going to push that Docker image to the ECR repository we just created. And finally, we're going to point the Lambda function to that ECR repository to be able to run that Docker image. Great. So before we get started, real quick, you can help me out a lot by doing a few things. Sponsor me on either GitHub sponsors or Patreon, subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the video, sharing on platforms you use like Discord or Reddit, starting the repo on GitHub, and also follow me on GitHub. All these things help me out a lot, and I really appreciate any or all of them. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is create the IAM user. So search for IAM at the top, right here. We're going to go to users on the left, and we're going to add user. Let's pick a name, AWS Lambda Demo User. All right. Programmatic access, because we're going to be doing everything from the command line. Permissions, attach existing policies. So we need a few policies here to be able to access AWS resources. So let's do these. We're going to do IAM full access. I'm going to do CloudWatch, full access. I'm going to do EventBridge, full access. I'm going to do AWS Lambda, full access. And we're also going to create a policy. So let's do create policy. The reason we need to create a policy is because we need a policy specific to allow us to push to the ECR repository with this user for our Docker image. So we need to create that manually. So we're going to go to JSON. And now I've already created this policy for you in the repo. So if you go to the code and go to the AWS templates folder in the AWS IAM custom ECR policy.json, you can copy all of this, go back to AWS, and just paste it. Next tags, next review. And we'll just call this AWS Lambda Demo ECR Push Policy. Great. Create policy. Okay, so the policy is created. We can copy it right here. Go back. Search for it right here. Do a refresh. And we see it right here. You go next tags, next review, and create user. Great, so we have our user. Now you might be asking, why do we have to attach all these different policies directly? There's an easy way to do this actually. We could just give full administrative access. That means the user account could access everything on AWS. The problem with this, if these credentials ever get exposed, then that malicious actor would have access to everything on AWS. You wanna give least access permissions, meaning that you only wanna give as much permissions as necessary to be able to execute what you need for the user to prevent any kind of security issues, or at the very least minimize them. Okay, so we have the user created. We need to copy this access key and secret access key because we're going to use these later in the video series. So let's copy this. Open up your code editor. Paste. Go back. You get the secret access key as well. And let's paste it. Make sure you save these values, but also make sure you protect them. If these values are exposed, that means that a malicious actor can access your AWS console maliciously. Okay, so we have these saved. Click close here. Great, so we have our user. Next thing we want to do is create the ECR repository. So search for ECR, Elastic Container Registry, and we're going to do get started, create a repository. It's going to be private because we don't want anyone to access this. Let's give it a name, AWS Lambda Demo ECR. Scroll down, scroll down, create a repository. Like we said before, this is going to hold the Docker image. So let's click into it. Close this on the left, and view push commands. This is what we're going to use to build the Docker image locally and then push it to AWS ECR. Before we get started, make sure you have Docker desktop running. Also, make sure you have the AWS command line installed on your machine. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the command prompt. All right, so now let's open up the terminal. What we want to do here is we want to make sure we're in the top level directory, AWS Lambda Demo. What we're going to do is we're going to build the Docker image and push it to ECR. I'm actually going to be in 
This private one that has all my specific account variables set, you don't need to be concerned. This is just what I need for my to do what I need to do. So the first thing we need to do, if you don't already have this configured, you need to do AWS configure. It's going to allow us to set the user credentials on our machine. So we're going to use the IAM user we just created with the access key ID and the secret access key we just saved. If you didn't save those variables, you're going to have to delete the user and recreate it to save those variables. So let's go back. Here's our access key ID and our secret access key. Great, great. Paste. And we can just click enter and enter. If your region is different, make sure you type it here. And we're good. Okay, so that's that. Now we can go back to the management console, copy the first command, and paste. Click enter. See login succeeded. Great. All right, now see the next command Docker build. Unfortunately, we can't build it like this because we have a few environment variables that we need to set the weather API key, the email username, the email app password. We need to set all these. So we can't actually build this right now. So what we can do is actually go to code editor, create a new file, paste this. My line continuation character and PowerShell is just this. Use whatever you need. And we need to set these variables. We're going to do dash dash build arg, and we're going to set the variables here. And we're just going to grab them straight from the .env file. After you're done, it's going to look something like this. Your build args here, the weather API key, the email user, and the email password, all with the values that you specify. So we can copy this whole thing. Open up the terminal. So we're not going to use this command. Paste the command, click enter, and let it run. This is going to build the Docker image for us, locally only. OK, after the Docker image is built, we can go back to the management console. Scroll down. This is where we're going to tag the image. Paste, enter. OK, that's done. Last command. We're going to push it to the ECR repository. OK, after it's done pushing, we can go back to the management console. Close this. Do a refresh. And we see the image here. Great, we push it to AWS ECR. Next thing you want to do is create the Lambda function. Next thing you want to do is create the Lambda function. Search for Lambda. Here we go. Go to Lambda. We're going to do a create function. We're going to do a container image. Why? Because you're using a Docker image for the Lambda function. AWS, Lambda, demo, and it's called Lambda. Container image URI. We're going to copy the ECR image URI. So let's duplicate. Let's duplicate this tab. Here we go. And copy the URI. Paste. Great. Keep all this the same. Create function. Okay. Once it's done creating, you don't see the blue bar at the top. You scroll down, go to test, and go to test. All right, it succeeded. So let's take a look. Got our email. And I see here. Great, it executed fine. All right. All right, now let's make a simple change. Let's go back to the code. Open up app.py. We're going to scroll down to the subject right here. Instead of saying weather today, we're going to say weather for today. We've only added one word in the subject. That's all we've done. We're going to save this. Now, to actually push this to Lambda, we have to do a few different things. First, we need to go back to here, and we need to rebuild the Docker image. So how do we do this? Open up your code editor. Hopefully you still have the Docker build command saved from before. We're going to add the no cache argument to force a rebuild the image at the top. So Docker build dash dash no dash cache. Keep everything else the same. Go back to your terminal, paste, enter. Great, we built the Docker image. Go back to the console, ECR. If you push commands, we're going to tag it. That's the terminal. Tag it. OK, let's tag. We're going to push it. OK, it's pushed. Go back. ECR, close this. Refresh. 
and we see a new URI right here. So you might be saying, okay, the Lambda function is now updated, we can test it. Wrong. The Lambda function does not update automatically when the ECR gets a new image, unfortunately. We have to do this manually still. So we gotta go back to the terminal, you have to do a command to update the Lambda function. The function is AWS Lambda update function code dash dash function name AWS Lambda Demo Lambda, which we're getting straight from right up here, to just the name of the Lambda function we chose, whatever you chose, dash dash image URI, and we're gonna put the new image URI from right here, from our new latest tag. Space, paste, enter. Great. So Lambda function code is updated. We can go back, go to Lambda, refresh, and we see up here with this blue bar that's updating. Give it about 20 seconds and then we can try to run it. Okay, it's green, successfully updated. You can go down to test, click test. Okay, finish executing. We can go to our email. And we see weather for today. So now we have the updated code. Now we saw how cumbersome this was, right? We couldn't just update the code and have it be on Lambda. We had to update the code, rebuild the Docker image, push it to ECR, force Lambda to update itself from the updated ECR image. There's a lot of steps that go into this, and it's very cumbersome and time consuming. It'd be much easier if we could automate all these things so we can simply update the code, fire off a job, and have the Lambda function be updated automatically. And we can do all of this actually with CI CD pipelines with GitHub Actions. And I'm gonna cover that in the next video. Stay tuned for that one.